All right, here we go. Much respect segment, man. Much respect segment. This is a segment where I show love to people in show business that made me want to be in show business. So today I got to do it. His birthday was last week. Him and Richard Pryor's birthday. I did Richard Pryor last week. His, Richard Pryor's birthday was on November 27th. And this guy's birthday is Dece was De December 1st. So, yo, uh, he would have been 82 years old, Mr. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee would have been 82 years old December 1st. He was born December 1st, 1940. Started off as a child actor, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, man. You know, taught celebrities how to fight, taught whoever wanted to learn. And he, he taught whoever wanted to learn. He got in trouble for that. And that's that's a real thing. It was They said it wasn't as glamorized in the movie Dragon as it was. They said actually the fight wasn't even close. He beat the shit out of real quick. If you ain't see the film or you don't know nothing about the story, he was he was teaching people in the United States how to do how he, the, the Chinese art form of... um martial arts and the powers that be hated it so like yo you will battle you if you lose you can never teach anybody like, i teach you what to learn <laughs> Bruce like fuck y'all let's go and he went in and whooped this and we, we will do it in a matter of seconds he taught you know, a matter of fact he, he talked like celebrities like steve mcqueen and kareem abdul jabbar like stuff like that and bruce lee was all over man he got the green hornet dog the green hornet I don't know if it was a race thing that he didn't get, you know, that show didn't go on longer. I thought that show was better than Batman, honestly. And I remember they did the crossover episode that they had to fight. And they said that you know, Burt Ward played Robin, so he was scared as hell. <laughs> like, shit, this dude really can kick ass. He left the stakes, man. He said the work was too slow. They supposedly stole his um, kung fu idea, and they put a white guy, David Carradine, in the spot. David Carradine's the guy who played Bill and killed Bill. He didn't have any work in the state, so he went back home. He went back home, became the star he always wanted to be. He was able to do the movies he wanted. He hooked up with Raymond Child, and they started. They wrote, they wrote like three movies, and the three movies that they did consecutively broke records. They were the top three movies ever at the time. The first three movies you do, it was called Big Boss in uh, China. It came to the states called Fist of Fury. The second movie was the, called The Fist of Fury. They renamed that The Chinese Connection. Then he did The Way of the Dragon and then when they, they didn't drop that right away. They dropped that after he died like five years later. Uh, it was called The Way of the Dragon. They called The Return of the Dragon in the states. He was working on Game of Death and they were like, yo, Hollywood had the call. Once you're successful, people want to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this dude makes money. Let's holler at him. We want to be in the Bruce Lee business. They wrote this movie called Into the Dragon. And to me, and pretty much most of my family, all the guys anyway, this is the great one of the greatest movies of all time. Released. But, um, but Into the Dragon came out. It's Bruce Lee's best work. But unfortunately, he did not get a chance to see it. Bruce Lee died July 20th. 1973, one month before the movie came out. He didn't get a chance to see the impact this dude, the impact that he had. He would have been the biggest star in the world if he would did that. He's, he's an icon forever, man. This is how big of an icon he is. He's been dead almost 50 years, and we're still talking about this guy. We still talking about it, and everybody loves this dude. Like, like black, he's an honorary black person to a lot of black people. Hey, Bruce Lee, black. We walking around doing. You got the Last Dragon. Oh yeah, the Black Bruce Lee, the Black Dragon movies. They had parody movies of this guy. They had people pretending to be him because he was so big. They're like, yo, we just gonna change the name. Um, Bruce Lee, Bruce Low, um, Bruce Lee Lee. Like, what the fuck is it, Bruce Lee Lee? Like, really? He changed the game for all that, man. And what made him so special? It was his confidence. His confidence, his presence on screen, because he's been a child actor, so he knows the camera. He had such an effect on me. I was like four, and they took me to go see Game of Death, and we went through Chinatown, and my little ass was jumping in front of Chinese dudes and challenged them to fight. <laughs> like, <"Wah!" laughs> they didn't do nothing but laugh at me. Thank God, because they got pissed. They would kick shit out my little four-year-old ass. One of, the, one of my favorite icons ever, man. Rest in peace to Mr. Bruce Lee. Happy birthday, too, bro. Uh, 82 years old. I think he still be active. I think he still be active. All the success Jackie Chan had, it had been double. All right, that's the show, y'all. That's it.